Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. So today, actually this is a video that I didn't even know that I was going to do until like an hour ago. I had a different movie in mind for this week's video, but I just realized that I've accessed HBO Max and I saw that the movie The Invisible Man was on it and I really wanted to see that movie. I've heard really good things about it and I feel like lately I've been into more like horror, psychological thriller movies and I feel like they're a lot more fun to react to on my channel. Although I love my rom-coms and I'm still gonna react to those types of movies, I feel like it's way more fun for me to react to movies that A, I've never seen before and B, ones that can scare the absolute crap out of me. So I really don't know much about it except there is a man and he is invisible so I'm sure you know I just nailed the entire plot right there but anyways uh, that's all I really have to say before starting the movie so let's just get into it that is a huge room how do you see how open that is must be nice to be rich Scenes like this that are so like eerily quiet are probably some of the most intense scenes and like stressful scenes for me to watch. Oh, that's kind of smart. She must have planned this for a while because she has to like plan out every single aspect of getting out without him waking up, without the cameras catching her. She has to know his passwords and stuff. Like this has got to be an elaborate escape plan. Oh no. The dog's gonna make noise. I'm sorry, I can't take you with me. Oh. No. Okay, I thought the dog was gonna bark or like attack her, so I'm glad that the dog also escaped. I'm so nervous. That car is far away, something could happen. I'll explain later. Just go, Emily. Go. Open the fucking door. Oh my god. I feel like those are going to come back later because I feel like they wouldn't focus on her dropping them and then him picking them up just for no reason. <laughs> Sorry, it just- Yeah, this is so sad because there's an extra layer of just like, oh, she's not like physically with him anymore. Like, she is afraid to leave the house to go out and do any normal activities. And that's really upsetting to watch. But it seems great that there's this guy who is supporting her and is understanding. I'm desperately trying to tell you that you don't need to cut me off anymore. Because he's dead. But is he? <laughs> oh my god. Then it was controlling when I left the house and what I said. If he didn't like what he assumed, I was thinking. He would, he would hate you? Amongst other things, he wanted to have a baby. And I knew that if we did that, that I, I would never be able to get away from him. So I took birth control without him knowing it. That is horrifying. I'm required to enact his final wishes. And he stipulated that I do this in person. 
Why well, do you have to do it in person? I don't know if that's like a legal thing or, I don't know, it just seems fishy that he said it like that. As soon as I have your signature and your banking information, I can start releasing the funds. I don't know. It seems too good to be true. It's a new bank account um, with your name on it. And I'm going to put $10,000 in it every month for the rest of the year. Aww. I called the account Parsons. That's so nice. You realize I'm a cop. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. This scene is so nice. What is that angle? I was just about to say, this scene was so night and day from like the rest of the tone of the film so far. It's just like a really hopeful and like positive, happy, she's moving forward, like, but we know that's not <laughs> what's gonna happen for the rest of the movie. <sighs> These shots make me uneasy. That was a transition to some eggs and bacon and I just flinched. Oh my God. It didn't drop. It fell, but it didn't drop. James? The shots are very... I don't even know what the word is, but just like, it makes it more intense the way they're positioning everything and the way they're filming this. And it's just adding to the suspense. A lot of like one take or like panning shots happening too, which I think can also add to the suspense. Like, oh, okay, what's gonna be in that final shot after it's done panning. And usually it's nothing, It just makes it even more creepy. Mm -mm. Nope. I would wake up the whole house and be like, hey, the front door's open, anyone wanna come with me <laughs> to investigate? Like, don't do it by yourself. Oh no, he's right next door. It's like paranormal activity, but it's worse because it's a real human doing it to another human. So much scarier actually. Is there like an indent in the chair? can't tell if that's just how the chair looks or if someone's like in the chair. Oh. I didn't like that noise. That was... I feel like I would be terrified if this was happening. James! 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 Okay. So any reason you worked in Paris in particular? Is that where all the beautiful women in the world have to go as a rule? Excuse you? Is this a job interview and you're saying that? Um... um. <laughs> this man needs to die for real, okay? Because he is horrible. Hi, uh, this is Dr. Lee at St. Vincent. So, we got the results of your blood test back and it looks like the diazepam was the most likely cause of you fainting. Um, sorry, what diazepam? So well, he's drugging her now the amount of it. with the medication that she dropped. Of course, I knew it was gonna come back. The night I left him, I drugged him with that. I lost the bottle that night and somehow it found its way back to me. Lost the bottle, you found the bottle. Did you hear anything she said? I have a pile of ashes in the box that would disagree with you. Just it could be anyone's ashes. That is very elaborate though. If there's ashes of someone and someone found him dead, I'm just... Yeah, I do like cake. Oh, 
Oh, my God. Sydney, are you okay? Oh Why would you just stop? Stop, Dad! Dad! Oh, no. Dad. She hit me. What? No, 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 James, I did This man's gonna ruin her life. I mean, more than he already has. Oh my god, he's keeping everything. That's where the knife went too. I don't like this shot. <laughs> oh, that shot is so creepy. <laughs> oh my god. These scenes are really long. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I completely lost my turn of thought from before, sorry. She's at his house. I hope this movie ends with Adrian being dead and she gets the dog. This is wild. This is an elaborate plan that he has. We just do things a little bit differently. It's all family style. We've been here before. It's all good. Okay, can I get you started with some water? We have still or spark. Just the free kind. Okay. It's a bit of an attitude. He didn't do anything to you? It's some kind of suit that Adrian has built. And it has cameras and it somehow... What? Oh my god. <laughs> What? She has to go to jail for that, right? Like, the, there's no way that they're gonna be, believe her story. I hate this man. Oh my god. How can someone be so evil? Oh my god. This better have a good ending for her. Because <laughs> if it's not, this movie is just going to be so depressing. You motherfucker! You killed her! I see you! I see Does this man do anything else at this time like does he eat does he go to the bathroom because literally every second of her life he's just like one foot behind her it doesn't make any sense we checked the blood tests that you had done at the hospital last week do you remember taking those blood oh my tests? god is she pregnant yes okay well did you know that you were pregnant this man needs to die or there's one option where this all goes away. Agree to have the baby. And go back to him. Um, no. A new life with him can be given to you with one phone call. So are you really just telling her, oh, you know, you can get out of all of this if you just be with him? Like, the brother is involved with this? This is so messed up. You won't get the baby. And you won't get me. Oh. No, no, no. What are we? No, no. There you are. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna believe her now. Ah! Oh. 
How many people has this man killed, honestly? You think you're learning how to beat me, so I'm gonna truly teach you something. If you fight me, I won't ever hurt you. I'll find someone you love and hurt them instead. Yeah, but once you kill all of them, then what? Do people not lock their doors also? Just a question. These people are gonna die, aren't they? Ugh, I can't handle any more death. <laughs> I love this. Shoot him more, please, honestly. Is that his brother? No! Stand clear! If this is what we're at, if this is going where I- Show your ass! Biotactical team found Adrian this morning. I'm tied up in his basement. Well, <laughs> you look amazing. I mean, you, you always, you always look amazing. Like, she knows that he did all this, and he knows that she knows. How do you come back from this? How do you act normal like nothing happened? Hence, we have the OCD buffet of sushi, steak, and pasta. Or you might not be hungry at all. He's like, huh, I don't know if you'd be hungry after I just, like, mentally tormented you for, like, you know, a couple weeks straight, you know? Don't know if you have an appetite. But it was you. I loved my brother. And I thought he loved me, too. Is he really trying to play the victim here? I should go clean myself up. <laughs> of course. Please, please, you have to help me, please. I'm with somebody and you think he's, he's trying to kill himself. You have to hurry. Please. It's a... 3-3-3-3 Celestial Drive. Please. <laughs> She's like, ah, uh, that really sucks that you're dying. That's unfortunate. Surprise. <sighs> we will not miss you. Not one bit. It sounded a lot like he killed himself. Yeah, this feels rewarding that he will not hurt her anymore and that she is free finally and the dog we love that the dog's going with her everyone got the ending they deserved i really enjoyed that movie honestly it was such an intense movie like i feel stressed still like i still feel like in that like panicky mode it was way different than what i expected i don't really think i had any expectations necessarily but everything that happened Definitely was not what I had in mind. All around the cast was really good. The main character was amazing. Uh, she was such a great actress. She made us feel all of the emotions. She obviously was the standout in this movie. So that's pretty much all I have for this week's video. If you guys liked it, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out videos every single Thursday. If you guys want me to watch other movies similar to this one, um, you know, like psychological thriller, suspenseful horror, anything in that like category, let me know some recommendations below. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I really have a lot more fun filming videos like this where even though I'm scared and I'm looking like an idiot probably most of the time because I'm jumping at the smallest things, 
they're one of my favorite types of movies to film and to react to. But anyways, thanks again for watching you guys and I will see you next week for another video.